Well, welcome to Kamchatka, Kamchatka Peninsula, the Russian Far East. Uh, we come here to hunt the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, probably bears in the world. The population of Kamchatka's bears is much bigger than the uh, population of bears in Alaska. We do doing hunt uh, uh, in the Kamchatka Peninsula since the beginning of 90s, since the fall of the Soviet Union. Made it. That's a borscht, mm -hmm. famous Russian soup, borscht. Bon appetit from Helena. machines and we just came across this big bear track here and uh, we're just kind of stopped here for a second kind of looking to pick his track back up but 
see it in the camera, but it's as big as my foot and I wear a size 10 and a half shoe and looks like a pretty good bear. So hopefully we can catch up to him next couple hours and uh, get a look at him and see if he's one we want to take. See the bear came in and he was chewing on some of the tree and dug up some of the roots and everything. They say this time of year it's what they'll eat on is the roots and stuff that's down inside of there. So the other guy just went out and he's making a kind of a circle around to try to cut his track again. So uh, he'll be back here in a few minutes and uh, we'll see what we can find from there. Got our come talk to brown bear. And I made two good shots. The one I hit him a little low, but I made it back on the third one. So, our first one, good bear. Exciting. So this is my first come talk to brown bear. And uh, we found this guy, he was actually up here behind us. He was in some really thick kind of cedars. This guy was standing out there and it was very, very fast, very heart beating and excitement. This is my first time for the Conchocta bear, but I've hunted grizzlies in Alaska. These are definitely bigger bears. Their heads are much bigger. These are more like a brown bear. I've never hunted the brown bears in Alaska, but uh, these bears are, are definitely big bears. As you can see, they got big pads on them. Their heads are big, and there's lots of bears here. We've seen lots of tracks, so uh, we'll keep searching and see what else we can find on this great trip. This is day one, and uh, already has success, so great hunt. place to stop and uh, visit. Say when the storms clash here, it's going to be pretty exciting. This whole entire bank is just completely straight as a wall. Don't want to get too close to the edge.
this is what we come for. Well, here we are with an absolute beautiful Conchocton brown bear. He is an absolute giant. His head is big, he's long, he's a fantastic bear, and it was an absolute exciting hunt. We um, rode today for a long, long while. I'm not sure exactly how many miles we went, but we actually went the whole way to the coast, and uh, we spotted the bear down there. I was a young boar, um, nothing to get excited about. And we were coming back up through the territory that we came down through this morning, and we spotted this guy's tracks and we immediately knew they were fresh and we started going after him. Finally, we caught up to him and uh, I was able to make two good shots. And this hunt has been a little bit tougher than normal. Um, they've actually had a volcano, they said, that's been going off that is roughly 2,000 kilometers away. And it's what it's doing is the ashes are coming over and they're hitting the snow and everything started to melt. So these spruce trees, I guess that's what they are, is what we're seeing now. Typically on their normal Kamchatkan bear hunt, they're not here. Everything's covered in snow. So with the snow going down, it makes getting around difficult and makes hunting these bears difficult right now. But the guides over here that they have, uh, can't ask more out of them. They do a fantastic job. Olage and the gang from the hunting consortium, definitely top notch. Uh, these guys really know what they're doing, and uh, they make all your dreams come true of hunting big brown bears. This is an absolute giant bear in my book. Uh, couldn't be more tickled with him, and uh, just having an absolute great time here in Kamchatka. Fantastic trip. Day three here, once we get gathered up and get everything suited up, we'll go out for, our, uh, for my second bear, hopefully, so we'll see what uh, what happens. We had a nice little snowfall last night, and uh, looks like it's going to be a great day. Yeah, we split up from the other group of the other hunter and now we're kind of both uh, separate or solo now uh, on the mountain over here ahead of us uh, one of the guides is crossing up over the mountain to look for tracks see what what we can run into we got a big mountain area here that we're gonna just sit in glass and see if we can see anything move and then uh, then our our uh, other guide that broke away from us. He'll come back and see what uh, see what he might have seen some tracks or maybe he can find a bear. So, so right now we're just kind of sitting here and waiting and doing what uh, doing what you do when you go bear hunting. You know, you, know, you just get to a nice place where you can do a lot of glassing and, and uh, just wait for the wait for the moment to come. So it, it's just a matter of time and. Something will happen, but you just never know when. We've got a great, great group of guys right here. These crazy <laughs> Russians. <laughs> they are like this country. The country is big and strong. They are big and strong. And the bear, big and strong, but he's dead. <laughs> yep. Well, we caught up with my bear that I just harvested. Uh, here in Kamchatka, and it's my second bear. Uh, we've seen him probably maybe a mile away, and uh, we caught his track and we tracked him up across the mountain, and, and uh, he went down over the other side, and we got around the other side of the mountain, caught him down here in this little little valley here, and come up through, and uh, he started started back up this mountain and kind of was going to straight up the mountain from me and he quartered a little bit and I was able to place a place a shot on him and uh, held him up and I put another one in him just to just to make sure we we had him down but uh, what I, I can't say enough about this area and the, and the whole staff and I can't uh, say enough about hunt, hunting consortium 
all the all the connections that they got and around the world and the uh, the, the the fine the bunch of people and clients that they put together to this that far away from home you know they're they're an outfit located in Berryville, Virginia and, and here we are in Kamchatka, Russia and they got a staff at just second to none uh, we were taken care of from the time we we get off the plane in Moscow till we come back here to our camp and I just can't say enough and and thank thank uh, Rob Kern and everybody back here at uh, hunting consortium for putting all this together and <clears throat> but our camp and the staff just everything's top-notch and for anybody that would be uh, optimistic about traveling far away places as long as you got somebody like Bob Kern setting you up uh, there's no problem you just you just make the connections with him and get your airplane ticket and get to the airport and get your ass over here and harvest a great bear like I just did <laughs> Okay, the Russian way of drinking vodka. First, you 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 have to take the black bread, which is rye bread, and smell it. It shouldn't be uh, after this. It shouldn't be any breathing. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm talking, and that's wrong. So yeah. it should be like that. You breath, no, and after this, no breathing. And breathe again. Mm -hmm. You don't need any snack. No. No chaser. No. No, no water. No juice. Nothing. Nope. nope. Not good. Good.